There are renewed calls to reform the family court system after claims that some parents are waiting up to two years for formal access rights to their children after a breakup. Well, some areas of the Midlands are struggling with a heavy backlog of cases. The charity Both Parents Matter wants better mediation processes for quicker and more amicable resolutions. Nick Smith reports. The breakdown of a relationship can be a hugely stressful experience, but the process can be much more complicated when children are involved. Family courts can determine access rights for either parent, but in the wait for a hearing, the primary carer often holds the power and control of when and where their ex-partner can see their children. Wade Adams is a local volunteer for the charity Both Parents Matter covering the Midlands and says delays in getting an initial court hearing are causing a huge amount of distress. The court system itself is slow, but what normally happens when there's relationship breakdown, often the case the children are with their resident parent and then as soon as the relationship breaks down, contact with the non-resident parent stops, which means it's a lengthy process because if the resident parent says the non-resident parent can't see the child, if they can't sort out amicably, it has to go through the court process, and the court process, unfortunately, is just very, very slow. John Denby spent years having restricted contact with his own children after separation from his wife. His son and daughter were under 10 at the time. He says without a firm plan in place for access in the initial stages of a family breakup, reliance on the courts can have a devastating effect on the parent, who isn't the primary carer. Heartbreaking is the immediate word that comes to mind because I was a very hands-on, committed father. Suddenly, they're gone from my life. You would be walking down the road and you might see a father taking his children to school and it really hurt that you could no longer be a father to them. We would like to see a less adversarial system because we think that generates conflict. The delays in the system are very damaging um, and that's contrary to a child's best interests. Some countries like Sweden have a presumption of shared parenting and try and facilitate equal access from the point of separation. But family law experts like Lucy Reed say there are important factors to consider which do often need the presence of a judge. It's to ensure that the welfare of children is properly identified and prioritised and that includes their safety. Sometimes parents don't agree about whether the other parent is a safe um, an able parent. So th there are some cases where it's absolutely right for the court to say no, no, contact should be restricted but there are also a large number of cases where contact can and should be promoted and it is promoted and orders are made by the family court. The Ministry of Justice says the backlog in the family courts is reducing but remains too high so they are promoting methods like mediation to settle child access and visitation. A move welcomed by advocates for a system where separated parents can properly share involvement in their children's lives. Nick Smith, ITV News. Now, here's a stat which might surprise you. because.